Alright, and welcome back to Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf. And look at that, our shoe store has opened up in Main Street today. So we'll be sure to check that out. Now that I can buy new shoes, I can get, or I can coordinate my outfits better, get ready for a fashion explosion. You should really go check it out when you get a chance. <laughs> well, in the past few days, we found out that Isabel loves to shop. So I'm going to go back into my house really quickly so that I can show you guys that mannequin that Sable gave me. Um, I decided to put that Wario look I had on display up here. So here it is. And when you click it, you can go ahead and change into it. And then your previous outfit will go on display. But I'm going to go ahead and switch back to this one. And by the way, look, um, my upstairs over here, I kind of made it like a little bedroom. And I have my little avatar hanging on the wall because you can display patterns on the wall, which is pretty cool. And here we have a lonely record player, or actually it's not really a record player, but there's no music in it because I don't have the club open yet for KK Slider, oh my god. But I want to head on over to Town Hall because I think maybe we could get started on that, maybe. I'm not sure. We'll have to go take a look at Town Hall, and then I want to definitely go to the shoe store because I'm really excited for that. And I'm going to go look at our um, pathway to see if how the trees are coming along. So look at that. They're growing. Oh my god, this is going to look so much better once the trees are fully grown. And look, here we go. These trees are grown. The apples just need to spawn. So that's really pretty. And then uh, I think the lemon tree should be up too. It totally is. It just doesn't have any lemons as of right now. But I am loving the way that the town is coming uh, together. I think I am going to change the combination of the flowers. I just don't know to what yet. So for now, it's going to be red and white roses for a while. And also, that weird item that was by our kid's house yesterday, I went to go pick it up. And it was just a lost item, and then you had to find out who it belonged to. It ended up being um, Nan's item. So, oh wait, I had to go over there to the town hall. That's why I was running over there. <laughs> so, as a thanks, Nan gave me a t-shirt. Hold on, let's sit in the chair. And by the way, I like how the lights are shining through the window. Like, you can actually see the sun ray. And the townsfolk would like to hold it. Oh, that's why. Okay, so we are actually having a celebration for... Um, the dream suite which is weird because we didn't have one for the reset surveillance center i guess no one wanted uh, her back but anyways here we are and there's luna so we have the grand completion ceremony for the dream suite project awesome so um the text is always the same isabel always has the same stuff pretty much and then uh, i always have the same three options so this time i'm going to say we did it Hooray! <laughs> and then after this um, celebration, we'll go back to City Hall, and then hopefully we'll see someone there, for all we know. And yay! <laughs> so cute. I love how they celebrate all of these little landmark things. It's adorable. Also, I talked to Angus yesterday, or was it Benedict? I can't remember. It was one of them, and they brought up the idea for a landmark of a uh, balloon arc. So, <laughs> I don't know why, but he's like, you know what, this town is missing a balloon arc, so you should build one. And I'm like, I don't know about that. But let's go over here and sit down on this chair. And let's see. So, is there something I can help you with? Let's look at the public works projects really quick. And um, I'll be able to show off the balloon arc that we got. So let's see. Start a new project. I'm actually not going to start one yet, though, because um, let's see. Where is this? So, oh, here we go. So we have <laughs> the option to make this balloon arc for 86,000 bells, which actually, it's not that much compared to the other ones. Um, but, geez, whatever. Let's see. Let's go ahead and walk outside. I'm really not sure. You know what? I know this is kind of weird. Let's go to the shoe store. After the shoe store, we'll talk to Abel and, you know, we'll do all our Main Street stuff right now. And then I want to save and quit and then load my game again to see if something will happen. Because what's supposed to happen is after you get TNT Mart, um, someone is supposed to approach you 
with the idea of building the club over here. So I just haven't, you know, had anyone come up to me yet. So maybe since we didn't do the celebration for that project, the game just didn't know how to register that. So I'm going to just try to see if that will do anything. I'm kind of hoping it does because I really want that club. Um, it probably won't be built until tomorrow if we can get it started today. But here we are at Kicks. And look. We have Kicks. Who owns Kicks? <laughs> and he sells shoes and socks. So we have a whole bunch of shoes. And uh, all of these change every single day as well. Um, let's go ahead and try on these fuzzy boots. Or, oh, they're just rain boots. Alright, let's go ahead and try them on. I can't see, Kicks. You're in the way. But whatever, I'm going to wear them out just because... Um, there's some new shoes, and I feel like those are the ones that probably only go with this outfit. Oh, look at it! They do! I like them! I know they're supposed to be rain boots, but I don't care. I'll wear them out like this. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna buy out his stuff every single day as well, because, uh, now all the funds that you spend in Kicks and at the Able Sisters is combined now, and once you spend a certain amount, that's when you eventually get Champoodle, and that'll be cool, because then I can get my hair cut and uh, dyed every single day and we have a bunch of cool new accessories here I've had these glasses before did I buy these when I was doing my let's play I'm not sure but uh, they give you like little sparkly anime eyes <laughs> and um, I actually gave these to a friend so I'm gonna go ahead and wear these out because I've been wanting to get another pair I want to give them to arcade eventually because it makes their eyes all sparkly, just like hers are. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see if there's any new pants. Oh, there's only skirts today. And by the way, this is the ugly shirt that Non gave to me yesterday. I'm surprised it's here for sale. <laughs> Did not like it one bit. But let's go ahead and talk to Sable. So, um, I'm good for now. I don't want to use the sewing machine just yet. What kind of clothes do you like? It's gotta be white and green plaid. Why? What? <laughs> oh, that's what she's wearing. Okay. <laughs> well, let's head on over to TNT Mart. I will be coming back here, like I said, to go on a shopping spree and buy out the entire store. I'll also buy out all the stuff in the gardening store so I can try to get some uh, golden stuff. I really want a golden axe. That way I can... Uh, I think once I get the golden axe, I'm going to redo my town completely and like try to make it look a little bit more organized because... Right now, it's a little all over the place. And, oh, look at this. Eventually, when um, Arcade expands her house and gets an upstairs, I think I want to make her upstairs the lovely theme, which is just a bunch of pink furniture. So, there we go. And let's see which wallpaper is available today. We have a neutral wall. And it looks very boring. <laughs> like an office wall. And then here, we have an old board floor. Show me it. Oh, I actually kind of like that. So I'm going to take that. I think I might use that in my house. And then, let's see. Oh, my fortune cookies. Ah, uh, you know what? That takes up too much time. I think from now I'm going to buy those off screen and then tell you guys in the next part if I get anything good. That way we can go back into town and, you know, hang out with our neighbors and stuff some more. Now, let's head on over to Nook's Homes just to see if there's any cool new exterior things worth getting or not. Probably not. There's normally not that much stuff that I like in here, to be honest. And... Oh! I guess I haven't talked to him in a while. Or no, he was... That's right, I got some new floor or something. So... Hmm... Nothing I want. I already have the mermaid fence for our kid, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, let's go back into town. Or no, like I said, I was gonna save and quit and then go back into the game in hopes of getting approached... Uh, for the idea to build a club, so let's do that. If not, I might have to wait until tomorrow, which hopefully not. If that's the case, I'm going to be so bummed out, but whatever. At least finally next Saturday, we're going to be able to get our first like CD, which I've been wanting to get since the very beginning of this game, like you don't even know. Um, but... Um, it's like a comedy club slash dance club, so it should be pretty cool to have it in our town, and that's why I'm like kind of obsessing over it so much. So let's go ahead and jump back into our town, and 
and we'll see how it goes. If not, whatever. We'll just go around talking to some neighbors and stuff, see if uh, there's any new goals to do. Or some... Oh, here we go! Okay, good. So here we have Shrunk. <laughs> and because we have TNT Mart now, he's going to come over here to ask us for a favor to build a shop in the shopping district. So we will go ahead and say, that sounds great. You can deny him if you want. Um, but if you deny Shrunk, you'll have to go over to uh, Town Hall to start it as a public works project. So he is going to make a club called Club LOL. <laughs> and I'm actually really excited. Shrunk, my character is just giving you the evil eye. Then again, he can't really tell what expressions we have with those glasses on. <laughs> so since we've agreed to the plan, I'm going to need to help him out. This is the first time that um, when you build a public works project, because this venue can be a little bit on the noisy side, um, people can complain. So you need to get permission from all of the residents. So that's right. You have to take a signature sheet, go around town, and get everyone to sign it, which is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why my character is giving Shrunk such a cold shoulder, but whatever. We're going to go up to everyone. So we need um, all six signatures. So we don't need everyone's at all. We just need a majority. So come on, we got to go um, talk to Robin. She was over here. I'm sure she's all for a club. Why wouldn't she be? So let's talk to her. And signature, please. Wow, this is the kind of initiative I can support. Are you behind this idea, Andrew? It's great. <laughs> well, of course she's going to help. I told you. Why wouldn't Robin be all over the idea of signing um, permission for a club to finally come to our little town? Which is actually coming... Uh, it's starting to look a little bit more like a city than a town because of our pathways. And now we're going to have a club, so we're going to have some nightlife in here, which is totally cool. Um, let's go talk to Tammy over here. She hasn't let me down in the past because she's sold me legit art, so I'm sure she'll sign it as well. So here we go. Signatures? What are you up to, homie? Seems kind of cool. <laughs> she called me homie! <laughs> well, Tammy's totally on board. And she's going to sign it with a vengeance. I want to get Sprinkle's signature too so I can see what she says. And I'd also like Kyle's signature also. I want them all to sign it to see what they all have to say. And if I run into Benedict, him also. Marcy, I don't know you that well. So I'm just going to walk past you. Because I want to hear the other people's reactions. <laughs> so let's talk to Nan. And I wonder if she'd be for it. I'm not sure. Oh, good. She thinks it's a great idea too. So I'm assuming that no matter who you give it to, they'll be all for it. Or I'm getting lucky. I'm not sure. But I'm assuming that they would all enjoy the club over here. So um, let's see if we can find Sprinkle anywhere. Actually, I think I have my megaphone in my inventory. So let me see if I can find it really quick. Here it is. So let's equip this so we can find Sprinkle. And then we have to equip back our little signature thing. So anyways, Sprinkle. Mm, seems that Sprinkle is not nearby, so we might not get to see what she says. What about Kyle? Let's see. Kyle. Okay, cool. So Kyle is out and about. So let's go find him over here. He's probably near his house. Because that's where the chat bubble was. Where are you, Kyle? Please? I need your signature. Oh, there you are. With your frog costume. That's right. Alright, let's go ahead and wear this thing. So... Oh, I guess we don't actually need to... Uh, equip it. So we have Robin, Tammy, and Nan. So we need three more signatures and after Kyle, hopefully just four more. So here we go. And I've been hoping to see you, Andrew. So what's going on? Let's see what he says about the club. Oh yes, sounds good, Alpha. I'd love to support it. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I'll see if Drift is in his house so we can get his signature if he's nearby. So is that it? Remember to keep that signature since it'll be worth a lot someday. <laughs> well, we do see Kyle with a bunch of instruments in his house and stuff, so he's probably trying to be a musician. Um, Drift isn't in his house, so let's see. Drift. Alright, Drift's not nearby. Benedict. And Benedict's not either. What the? Alright, well, you know what? Screw this. Let's go ahead and get Marcy's signature. 
And then after Marcy signs it, we just have to get one more. Um, here she is. So I'm sure she'll be for it. And by the way, I was—I know this is a random thought, but yesterday I was like, I wonder if Marcy has a husband or if, like, what happened there. Because she has a child, or I'm assuming that's her child. <laughs> but there's no dad. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and sign or she's gonna sign it, so that's fantastic. Um, Angus! Oh my god, Angus! How could we forget about him? Maybe he's in his home, I'm not sure. No, he's not. Where are these people? Angus. Wow. Um, well, maybe some of them are in the museum, or maybe even in retail or something. We just have to find one more signature, and then we'll be... Oh, okay, Benedict's home. So, we're going to have... Oh, and we have someone camping. Oh, my God. Good. We haven't had someone camping here in a while, so hold on. I want to check to see who's in here so bad. Oh, my God. Be someone I like. <laughs> or someone I know. I don't know who you are. Get out of my town. <laughs> <laughs> you rhino oh my god I'll go back and say hi to him but that's not who I wanted to be in there not lying was kind of hoping that stitches would be in there um, or even Bob or someone cool but instead it's just some rhino dude but anyways we're gonna go get our last signature for club lol and then uh, oh yeah this is Benedict's house by the way I don't think I've shown it off isn't it awesome I really like it it's like an outdoorsy theme and there's the uh, refrigerator that we gave him and also the red um, chair. So let's go ahead and peek in here and see if he gives us anything. So this must be his treasure box. Oh, he didn't give us anything. That's okay. What is he listening to? He's listening to, aw, I love you. <laughs> oh, Benedict, I didn't know you were such a romantic. Well, let's go ahead and get that signature. So welcome to Casa the Benedict, Andrew. <laughs> Signature, please. You want to build a club on Main Street? I'd love to see some shows, so count me in. Awesome. So Benedict's all for this as well. Super stoked about that, actually. And we got all of the signatures. And he wants sandwiches. So we will be sure to accommodate him. <laughs> and he bowed to us. Interesting. Did not wave. I don't know if that means anything. Hopefully, it's nothing bad. And we don't need this anymore. Um. All right. Let's go talk to the neighbor. Let's at least find out what this dude's name is. And by the way, you know how I have that tree um, that was cut down over there? I found out that certain bugs will actually show up on the stumps and stuff. So what is he listening to? Oh, I can't check. Or is it she? Oh, it's a she. Her name is Rhonda. So hello. I hope it's all right that I've decided to camp here. You have a lovely town. I enjoy company, so please come visit me anytime. Aw, well, she's really sweet, but I don't want her in my town, so she can keep camping here as much as she wants, but she's not going to live here. <laughs> because, ah, uh, I just want Stitches or Bob or Teddy or someone, I don't know, someone that, like, I remember from my old towns. Though, to be fair, Stitches is someone I never had in Animal Crossing, and I didn't really know much about him. But once I started seeing a bunch of, like, quotes from him on Tumblr and stuff, I'm like, oh my god, this neighbor is the cutest, and I need him in my life. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and talk to Isabel, because we got all six signatures. Or, did we have to go back to Shrunk? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and sit in our chair over here, and see if Isabel says anything um, we might have to go back to Shrunk, actually. Yeah. Or... Yeah. Let's go find him. He should be lingering around our house, maybe. And then we can get this uh, project started. Hey, look! We made an accidental pink rose! How cool! We're gonna have to put that by our kid's house. Oh my god, maybe I will just leave red and white roses for a while. That way they can keep spawning pink roses, hopefully. Now, seriously though, I cannot find this little shrunk dude. And I'm like, why? Why would you not show up near my house after I have all six signatures? Whoa, okay, so I didn't find shrunk, but I found Savannah. And Savannah remodels your house for some money. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this really quickly. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm getting super distracted. But I mean, I can't find this dude, so I might as well get it my house remodeled by Sahara since I haven't done this yet and let's see what she says 
So, this is your palace, yes? Oh, I see the harmony of this room. I have just the thing. So, let's go ahead and pay her the 3,000 bells so that she can redo our room. And, let's see. I'm excited! I'm so excited! Oh my god. There's a whole bunch of craziness happening right now. <laughs> so it is done. Done like the past. Tomorrow is here. The future needs not this, so you must take it. Oh, she's gonna give us back our wallpaper and stuff. And... Harmony is peace. Peace is unity. Unity is harmony. I tell this to the Nook Man. He asked me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tom Nook, why are you such a jerk? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what Sahara did. And look at this! It is crazy! I don't know if I like it! <laughs> I think I'm going to put this foreign wall upstairs in my room. And then I'm going to replace this with my new wood floor and the Mario wallpaper that I had already. Just because I, I do actually do like it. It's very crazy and fun. I enjoy it. So anyways, I just realized um, the reason I probably can't find Shrunk is maybe because he might be in Main Street for all I know. So that's probably where I want to go next. Let's talk to Sahara before we leave because she's so cute. So we will work with Harmony. It will make you happy. You will have very much happiness. <laughs> she's so cute. Alright, so let's go ahead and head on over to Main Street. Because I have a feeling that Shrunk might actually be in front of where the venue will be at. So let's go find out. So here is Shrunk. He is right outside of where the club is going to be. And we got all of the signatures. So let's go ahead and tell him. And we'll give him the signature sheet, of course. So here we go. And we got them all. Fantastic. So as long as I can get the permit I need, all that's left is to do the necessary construction. I'm not exactly sure when I'll be open to the public though. Oh man. So I'm not sure if we'll get it tomorrow or if we'll get it in like two days or what. But hey, cool. At least we're going to get the club eventually. <laughs> probably this week. So that's pretty exciting. Um, however, I just got a Skype message from my friend Melatonin. And it turns out she has Katie, the cat, who travels. Um, but she doesn't have anyone that has their gates open. So I'm going to open my gates for her really quickly. That way you guys can see what it's like when Katie shows up to your town. It's about the same thing, but I feel like it's worth showing off. So I'm going to go ahead and invite guest in. And I'm going to do best friends to ensure that melatonin can get inside. And then we'll see Katie. And then after that, you guys, it's going to be the end of this part. Um... And then, yeah, we have Club Lol to look f towards and also a bunch of cool new shoes tomorrow at Kicks. And, oh my gosh, it's so exciting. I can't wait to upgrade the museum now and to eventually get the coffee shop. There's, like, so many things to unlock, but we're getting close to getting, like, you know, the majority of the stuff. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Now I'm going to head on outside to see um, Melatonin arrive and... We'll see what Katie says. And yay, here we go. Melatonin and Katie have arrived to my train station. <laughs> and there's Melatonin's crazy beard and wig. So Katie says, thanks for bringing me here. Um, so actually, I've been really scared traveling by myself lately. But you being all nice like this uh, has made me feel really good. You're the best. I'm going to go see what Arcadia is all about. So long, friend. So, I mean, she's been here already, but whatever. This is what it's like when a friend brings Katie to your town, as opposed to when you uh, take them to their town and such. So, anyways, you guys, that is all for this part. We managed to get the celebration open for the Dream Suite. We also um, have Club LOL started. So, this is very, very fun. I don't think I showed off the messages from my last few visits. visits. Uh, sorry. What happened here? Katie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but anyways, Steve was over here and he said, beware the pitfalls. And he was constantly harassing my neighbors, trapping them and putting pitfalls everywhere. So that was pretty fun. 
But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, that is all for now. And I will see you guys next time. So bye for now.